4-H camp is a blast. I think 4-H camp is cool. The most awesome experience of your life. 4-H camp is awesome and really fun. While at camp, you'll take an educational journey participating in hands-on tracks like science, engineering, and technology, water safety, outdoor skills, nutrition, and much, much more. I think it was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had in my whole entire life. 4-H camp is life-changing. So 4-H camp is an amazing, one-of-a-kind experience that you'll definitely want to have. 4-H camp is awesome. Hi 4-H campers, this is Christine Bergeron, your 4-H camp director here. And on behalf of all the staff at Camp Grant Walker, we do want to welcome y'all to our 4-H virtual summer camp. We are so excited to bring these virtual lessons to y'all because I know many of y'all are very sad that we're not having 4-H summer camp this summer. While we do miss y'all very, very much, we do want y'all to know that y'all are truly going to enjoy the lessons and activities we have in store for y'all over the summer. We are gonna have our four educational tracks, which are gonna be set, photography, gardening, and animal and culinary science, as well as some safety topics for our older youth and various outdoor skill lessons put on by Mr. Adam. So while we thank y'all so much for joining us and hope that y'all will engage in all these wonderful activities, please know that we do miss y'all. And we are going to put on the best summer camp ever come summer 2021. So all of y'all stay happy and healthy. And please don't forget to comment on Facebook and also to post all the pictures of your activities and fun things that y'all are doing this summer. We definitely want to stay in contact with you all and want to see how you're doing and hope that you have the best summer ever. So again, on behalf of all the staff at Camp Grant Walker, we wish y'all a happy and healthy summer. Hey guys, it's Amber. I am the general arts instructor at Camp Grant Walker for 4-H. As far as arts and crafts goes, create some things, make some stuff out of the things that you have at home, paint things in nature, do some self portraits, enjoy yourself and enjoy your summer. Hope to see you back next year. Hey guys, this is Miss Liz. I just wanna welcome all of you to our 4-H summer virtual camp. Camp Grant Walker is not gonna be the same this summer without all of your smiling faces. So have a great time and stay safe. Bye. Hi 4-H'ers, welcome to virtual 4-H summer camp. I know they have some great stuff planned. Have a great summer, I miss you so much. Hi guys, this is Ms. Hannah and welcome to virtual 4-H summer camp. Miss you bunches. Hey guys, I hope you enjoy the 4-H virtual summer camp. We really miss y'all and can't wait to see y'all next year. Hey campers, we sure do miss having you in outdoor adventures this summer, but today we've got the next best thing for you, which is Louisiana virtual 4-H camp. Welcome to Louisiana 4-H Virtual Summer Camp. Are you excited? Cause I sure am. Let's go explore. Hi, my name is Jeremy Bonnet with the Louisiana 4-H Virtual Summer Camp Program uh, Set Track. And this is my eighth summer at Camp Grant Walker as a set instructor. So if you've been here in the last year or two, you may recognize me. Uh, in today's activity, we'll be looking at our tower building series. Okay. If you've not done so already, you may want to take a second and print out your activity sheet so that you'll have that on hand as we go through it. In today's activity, we're looking at part one of our tower building series. Um, this one is called Basketball Tower. Now think about towers that you have nearby your house. Uh, you may have a water tower close by. You may have a cell phone tower or multiple cell phone towers around you. Even in a, in a city area you have tall buildings made of glass and steel. Uh, those are also towers. Uh, think about what those have in common. And with water towers and cell phone towers especially, we want them tall 
and their their structures are very similar in that they have three or four support legs they have cross beams that hold those together and those are there to keep the tower from twisting and collapsing okay? so with the cell phone tower we want it to be really tall okay? the taller it is the farther out we'll be able to broadcast a signal but as you go up taller and taller it gets a little bit more unsteady so those cross pieces are very important uh, and they will be important in our tower design today for today's objective we are looking at building a self-supporting tower that will hold a basketball and you can only use newspaper and masking tape okay. now if you haven't done so already go ahead and have your activity sheet ready Pause the video, read through the quick explanation section on pages one and two, and answer the pre-activity questions. After you're done with those, unpause the video and we'll go on to the activity. Now that you've finished answering your pre-activity questions, let's go ahead and get started looking at the materials. Now this can be found on page three of your activity sheet. For this activity, you'll need just a few things. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a meter stick, a ruler, tape measure, something to measure with. You'll need newspaper or some other type of paper that's large, like bulletin board paper, art craft paper, something that's larger and a little bit thicker. Okay. Uh, you'll also need a basketball and some masking tape. Okay. All right, now that you have your materials ready, we want to look at the directions on page three of the activity sheet. So the purpose of this activity is to build the tallest tower that we can that uses only newspaper and masking tape. Now this tower has to be freestanding. What that means is that you can't hold it, okay? It has to support itself. It also has to hold the weight of a basketball on top of it, okay? On your activity sheet, step two, there's a section that allows you to take some time to kind of sketch out your design ideas. So after you've looked at the quick explanation section and gotten some ideas for towers there, take a minute, sketch out your thoughts for your tower design. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video now, sketch out your design. And then when you're done, unpause it and we'll continue. All right, now that you've got your ideas sketched out, let's go ahead and take a look at building this tower. Okay? So I'm not gonna tell you exactly how to do it because there are a lot of different ways that you could do it. Again, you're using only newspaper and masking tape. You, know, you can use as much of it as you have available uh, to build your tower as high as you can. Okay? Just a couple of basic tips though. Okay? You wanna take your newspaper okay, and you wanna roll it up and use your masking tape to create kind of like a little tube. Now, whether you do this as a very tight wrap or a loose wrap, that you'll have to experiment with okay, and see what works best. But you want it to be kind of like the support legs that you see on a water tower or a cell phone tower. Okay? Now I've built a basic tower design already uh, so that you have an idea of what it may look like. Now yours may look completely different and that's okay. okay? But you see here I have mine built uh, with three support legs and I have these cross pieces uh, in the middle and toward the top. Now that's to prevent 
the tower from twisting, okay? So I have the base is very wide at the bottom, and as it goes up, it comes to a point, just like you would see with a cell phone tower, okay? So once you have your tower built, we're gonna test it with the basketball by placing the basketball on top. Now the basketball has to rest on top of the tower without the tower collapsing and the basketball falling down. It has to be up there for at least 15 seconds. Okay? If your basketball falls off, you have to figure out where your tower design has failed. And you have to brace it up, uh, change the design, maybe even redesign the whole tower. Okay? So let's go ahead and test out this tower and see if it works. Start the timer, 15 seconds. It's 10 seconds. 15 seconds. So this tower design has been successful. Okay? We see that it's supporting the weight of the, the basketball. It's not collapsing. It's not twisting. Okay? So now what we want to do is we want to measure the height of the tower. So we we'll take the top basketball off. And to measure your tower, we want to measure right down the middle of the tower design. Okay? So using your meter stick or tape measure or even your ruler, we want to measure uh, vertically the height from the floor, from the base, to the tallest point of the tower. Now this one is 23 inches. Okay? So what you want to do is build your tower, build it successfully to where it holds the weight of the basketball for 15 seconds. And hopefully, you can build one that's even taller than 23 inches. If you're successful with it, go ahead and post your results in the comments section. Let us know how tall is your tower? How long is it able to hold the weight of the basketball? Okay. Uh, take pictures, post those as well. Let us, let us see and compare your results to everyone else's. Finally, we want to look at the post activity questions. Okay? And this is also found on page three of your activity sheet. Take a few minutes looking at what happened with your tower okay? and answer those post activity questions. Okay. Now that you've finished answering your post activity questions, we have a couple more things just as reminders to wrap up. Think about ways that you could take this basic activity a step further. Uh, maybe using different materials, different designs of your tower. Okay? Uh, does a tower with four legs work better than three? What other materials do you have around that may work better to support your tower? So how tall can you get that thing with different materials? Also, in your activity sheet, on page two, you have some website resources in the quick explanation section that you should check out. Uh, there are different design ideas there and different challenge activities on those websites that you could try. Again, be sure to take pictures, post your results in the comments section. Let us know how successful you were. Okay? We want to see everybody's designs and get everybody's results to compare. I want you to beat this 23 inches of my tower. Okay? And finally, check out the link to our virtual program website in the description below. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for the next virtual set activity coming soon. We'll see you then.